Hey guys, so this is chapter 11, prompt two. When considering the executive office of the president, EOP, how important are the roles of the vice president and first spouse? Okay, so a lot of my information was taken from the textbook and whitehouse.gov. There's a couple other sources, but I'll, and I'll cite them, but mostly whitehouse.gov. Okay, so the EOP um, is to provide the president with the support that he or she needs to govern effectively. Um, it consists of many of the president's closest advisors. Um, some are confirmed by the Senate, but most are chosen directly by the president. Um, the EOP, it, they serve everything for functions of daily briefings all the way to national, to the national budget. So they're super, super, super important. Um, our text says that OMB or Office of Management and Budget is the most important and largest EOP. They handle the national's budget and make, um, oh, and oversee executive agencies. Um, other agencies shift in importance depending on each president's necessities. Other parts of the EMP, EOP include um, White House Communications Office and um, Press Secretary Office. Uh, the National Security Office and House Military Office. Um, more would be Domestic Policy Council, whatever. They they go on and go on. Okay. Now, of less importance is uh, the Vice President, um, especially our current Vice President. But the Vice President, um, the main role is to step in in case the President dies or is incapacitated in some way and cannot perform their duties. Um, they also serve as the main advisor and counsel to the president um, in the tiebreaker vote in the Senate. Um, some BOP, BPs, sorry, um, take on more roles, but um, our current, she she basically has no, no role. Um, she basically serves the purpose of being the first you know, female in person of color um, in the vice president role. That's basically it. Of the 48 previous previous VPs, nine have succeeded to the presidency and five have been elected to the presidency in their own right. That's from White House Talk Up. All right, now on to the first spouse. Historically, the first lady or first spouse um, to be non-gender, gender binary, um, has uh, historically served as hostess to the White House. Um, not every presidency has had a first lady, some who've just been a um their their closest advisor or a family member, but are you know, someone very close to them. They're not an elected official. Um first ladies usually not always um are involved in advocacy work. Um and they're they have they do have significant influential power. Um you know, they have the president's ear. So they also serve as main confidant and supporter of the president. Um, they organize and attend ceremonies, greet foreign dignitaries, and stand in place of the uh, president in ceremony sometimes. Um, so, you know, they do have a significant role. Um, you know, they're basically back up to the president. I personally think that the first lady is more important than the VP, but you know, they can't step in place of the president if the president dies. That That's basically the only role that the vice president has. Um, some first ladies have been um, more influential than others. Abigail Fillmore, she was re responsible for setting up the White House Library. Eleanor Roosevelt fought for civil rights, rights of women, uh, New Deal proposals, education and equal rights opportunities. She was also part of the NAACP. I mean, I could go over a bunch of um, first ladies, but I'm not going to. So basically, the um, EOP is the most important out of all of them. I mean, basically, the country runs on those kind of offices. And like I said, yeah, the VP has basically no role except for to take place of the president if they're incapacitated. But the first ladies, yeah, they do have a significant role. So um, my question to the class is, how do you feel about the vice president? Do you think that uh, they have any kind of role or serve any purpose? I mean, they have in the past, but I'm, I'm talking about the current one. All right. Thanks, guys.